I would like to show you how to solve a problem related to the Poisson distribution. Let's read first the problem. Suppose that a computer program will make an average of three errors per 400 words of translation. Suppose we randomly select a 1200 word passage translated by this program. Assuming that the Poisson distribution applies, let's answer the following questions. A. Determine the probability that no errors will be found. B. Calculate the probability that more than 14 errors will be found. And C. Find the probability that fewer than 9 errors will be found. First, the first question. Even if nobody tells me that the Poisson distribution applies, I would recognize that the Poisson distribution will be a good model to use for solving this problem. First, this is a discrete random variable. The number of errors that this translation software make when translating. Second, I notice also that I have the average of this random variable. The average is three errors per 400 words. So I know the average in a period or interval. So if that happens, so if I know that this is a discrete random variable, and also I know the average in an interval or period, I'm going to understand that, that a Poisson distribution will be a good model for solving a problem. Okay, so if we know that this is a Poisson distribution problem, so let's type here the Poisson distribution formula. So we know the probability of that the random variable take a value x will be equal to e to the power the mean with the negative times times the mean to the power x, and this x is the value in the question, divided by this x factorial. Okay, so review what type of information we have. First of all, we have that this, that we know the average of errors per 400 words. So I'm going to say that lambda equals 3, the average, in what period? In a 400 words passage. So that means that I have the value of lambda, but I don't have the value of mu. Mu is the average in the interval of the questions. Yeah? And the questions say that we are selecting 1200 word passage and what is the probability of not having any errors? Yeah? So the question is, in a 1,200-word passage, no in a 400-word passage. So for that reason, mu will be actually equal to lambda t, where t is the number of intervals in the questions. And in the question, we have that the, that the interval is 1,200 word passage. So t will be the number of these intervals appearing in this interval. So how many times is 400 in 1,200? And I notice that this is three times, yeah? So t equal three. So t equal three, and this is the three that I'm going to use here to know what is mu. So mu will be three times three equal nine. So now I know that the average in 1200 word passage will be equal nine. So three is the average in a 400 word passage, but nine will be the average in 1200. When, when translating 1,200 words. 
Okay, the only that I need to do now is put in to the formula this 9, yes? Mu equal 9 here, e to the power negative 9 times mu to the power or 9 to the power x divided by x factorial. So the first question, question A, is the probability of no errors. So it will be the probability of zero errors. What is the probability that the random variable take the value zero? And this probability will be making a substitution x by zero. Yeah? So the value of x is zero now. So the value of mu is nine. So we'll have here that the probability of zero equal nine to the power zero e to the power negative nine divided by zero factorial. Then you use this formula in your calculator. We have here that nine to the power zero is one. 0 factorial is also 1, so actually the answer is e to the power negative 9. You can use your calculator and find that this is actually 0 0.00012. This will be one way to work. But assume you recognize what is 9, what is the mean, and what is the question, the probability of 0, you can actually use a a table or use Excel. I'm going to be using Excel here. If I am using Excel, will be a probability of zero equals the Poisson distribution zero nine zero, and this zero is because the value of x is zero. This nine is because the value of the mean is nine, and this zero is telling Excel that this is a no cumulative problem. Yeah, this is actually is false that this is a cumulative problem. So you can type zero or you can type false in this in, in, in for this argument. So if you do that, the answer is you press enter, then will you will obtain the same answer 0 0.0012. So that solved the first question. What is the probability of no errors? Well, of course, I can solve also what is the probability of one error. The only that I need to do is just press one here. Yeah. So let's see question B. Calculate the probability that more than 14 errors will be found. So if I type this in math words, will be question B. What is the probability of x more is, is greater than 14? And this probability, if you compute this probability, this is actually equal to the probability of 1 minus the probability of less uh, x less or equal than 14. And I prefer to do it in this way because if I just think in the probability of x greater than 14 equal the probability of 15 plus probability of 16 plus probability of x equal 17 plus probability of 18, will be this a uh, uh, never-ending work. So it will be better to put it in this way. 1 minus the probability of x less or equal 14, because this probability is a work that I can end. It will be long time. It will be, if I'm using this formula, will be long, will be probability of 0, plus probability of 1, plus probability of 2, plus probability of 3, until the probability of 14. So if I add together all this probability, computing the probability of 0 using this formula, the probability of 1 using this formula, the probability of 3 using this formula, until the probability of 14 using this formula, adding together, I get this number. That will be a very long work. So a better idea is using a table. There are some tables when you can find, you, you can find a table when the, the mean is 9 and put the, the value of 14. And this table has the cumulative probability. So the table is going to give you this number. Then 1 minus the number good, uh, will be the answer. A better way for me is using Excel. So if you use in whatever cell of Excel, you can press equal 1 minus, and this is the 
Poisson distribution, the cumulative Poisson distribution. So minus Poisson distribution, 14, this is the value of x, or oh, until this value of x, you, are, you need to compute the, the probability, 9, that's the value of the mean, and 1 in this case, because in this case you, are, you need to tell, to, the, to tell a cell that this is a cumulative, a cumulative problem. So you need to press 1. Or you can type true, it's cumulative. Yeah? So if you do that, press enter and you get the answer. So press enter and you get that the answer is 0 0.04145. And that answers the second question. And you see, there were three ways to solve it. One is using the formula 15 times from 0 to 14 to get this number. And then 1 minus this. The other way is just uh, using a table when the, the table gives you always these numbers. You, in the table, you need to find a table when the mean is 9. And then find the value of x. And then the, the table gives you the number that is here. And then you make the, subtra the subtraction 1 minus the number. The other option is just going to Excel in whatever cell and press 1 minus Poisson distribution and, tell, and, and, and type the information. So those press enter and you get the answer. Okay, finally, I want to solve the problem C. It looks like it wanna be easier because they say fewer than nine errors. So if they say fewer than nine errors will be from zero to eight, yeah? Will be the probability, let's type this, uh, find this probability and then will be C equal probability of X less or equal than A. And that means that this will be the cumulative uh, probability yeah, of when X equal A. And if you, if you do that, if you do this by formula, okay, you need to add together, will be equal probability of zero plus probability of one plus probability of two and so on until the probability of 8. So you need to use the formula to compute this, the formula to compute this, the formula again to compute this, and if you notice you need to use the formula 9 times and add together all the, all, all the values. That will be a too long work. The other way is using the table. The table gives you this, this value. You need to find a table when mu equal 9 and the Poisson distribution table has also the values, the values of x. So you will need to use a Poisson distribution table where mu equal 9, and in this table find the value of x equal 8, and then tell you the answer of this cumulative probability. So I prefer to use Excel. So if I use Excel, will be, okay, if you do that, the answer will be 0 0.4557. If you use Excel, will be pressing this, equal Poisson distribution, 8, because the value of x is 8, 9, and 1. But look at that, the question was, find the probability that fewer than 9 errors, and fewer than 9 errors is actually the value of until x equal 8. Yeah. So, if you press enter, you get again the answer, the same answer, 0 0.4557. Okay, that concludes my explanation of this problem. Thank you.